who teaches men to be the protector? I don't know, because um, well, I love my father. No man is in the household. Who, who is teaching them? Yeah, but I love my father, but he wasn't there. So then what does your village look like, though? And I think that's the part that I feel like for All me, women. And that's the problem. That's what right? happens. So, we all get together as a village and support one another. Like women, we're always at empowerment brunches and going to therapy. Men don't do that, Jill. That's my point. And, and so I know you talk, talked about that, but that's- So when are y'all going to take accountability to do that, though? You need a village to support you so that you can support your community. I, but see, this is the thing. Because <laughs> the thing is, I get it. And I think that, you know what, we always say like, hey, one person at a time, right? In order to affect change. I think I do that. But as far as this kind of like more broad lens in which you're speaking about this from, I don't know if I penetrated what you're talking about. Like, I, I think I bring up vulnerability every time we do a show as a man. And the thing is, I was clear about, I didn't know what vulnerability meant as a black man. So the thing is, I have to put myself in the situation of being a woman. I felt uncomfortable with this topic because who am I to say like, oh yeah, this is what women need. Cause then guess what? That's a level of privilege. We always do this with like, well, this is what a man, this is what y'all need to do. Who am I to say? I could give a recommendation, but to give a mandate, that's a totally different thing. Cause this is what happened in government. We got a bunch of people in government that's not in the street, that's not in our neighborhood and say like, oh yeah, this is what y'all need to do in Chicago. I'm going to send this. That's what's happening right now. We have people with these big ideas and these based on these stereotypes and these large concepts without really breaking down and scaffolding the application of it. So the thing is, not just for Jillian, but for all women, I struggle with it because I truly don't know. And I'm learning as to how to, what do you mean protect black women? But the thing is, I can say that, well, then that's up to me to also hold myself accountable. Because I want to say, maybe I've been doing it already. Maybe I'm more cognizant of it now because we're talking about it on the podcast or to hold my peers accountable. So all I could do is say, just make one impact at a time based on what I do. But I still feel it's a counter argument. Again, you're talking about protecting black women. I think there's an aspect of protecting black men. There's an aspect of protecting women, protecting people with a, of homosexual, sexual orientation. Hell, protect, protect the mental health. 